Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. And to my returning folks, welcome back. To my new folks, this is just a quick reminder. Um, I had two people contact me today because they're trying to grant we wishes. And y'all know we have about another week left. I guess technically we have eight days left. And so they've left messages for people on the we wish page letting them know they want to grant their wishes but they need their email address their mailing address and so forth and they haven't heard back so i'm just reminding you that if you've made a we wish especially now that we're a week away from closing it out you want to check daily quickly on that channel on that particular video to make sure that someone hasn't written to you and said hey i'm granting your wish because you got to write back to them and make sure you guys give each other you know swap addresses and that sort of thing so that's just a quick friendly reminder. The other thing for those of you that are new to We Wishes, this is really important. Um, it's just it's a small reminder, and I'm sure you know it, but I just want to say it. When someone grants a We Wish and you receive it in the mail, please make sure that you either email them to let them know you received it, text them, phone them, or make a video so that the person knows that you received the We Wish. It's just a courtesy. But it's important it's important that they know that you actually received it because otherwise they're going to worry and also it's just a nice way to recognize what they did for you so there's that quick little reminder we have several people in our community who need well wishes and so i want to do a little reminder that we don't forget i know those of you are so good at praying and well wishing so uh, carrie thanks to deb as uh, deb's chilling bags we know that Carrie came through the surgery really well. She's recovering. But we also know from Miss P that recovery is painful and it's a challenging process. So I'm going to ask you to keep Scary Carrie in your prayers and your thoughts. I want to thank Deb's Chillin' Bags for keeping us updated on Scary Carrie's progress. And we really do appreciate it. So thank you for linking us in that way and making sure that we know. Because I know that there were many of us who were concerned. We didn't know Carrie was going in for surgery, and we want to make sure she feels supported. So please keep Scary Carrie in your thoughts. I'd like some continued prayers, please, for Miss DC. Uh, her family member is still seriously struggling. So we need we need as many prayers and wishes as we can get for this particular family member, y'all. We really, really do. So those of you who are really good at praying, pray, pray, pray. And those of us that well wish, let's make sure that even if we get really busy, we don't forget. It's really important. Um, this this particular family member, Misty and Misty's family, really need our support right now. Well, we all know that P is recovering, and uh, and that's amazing. That's really amazing, and we're all hoping that she she gets back her life. So let's continue our prayers for her and for her recovery. And last but certainly not least. Belinda is less than two days away from surgery at this point. So we want to make sure that she feels supported. I'm sure, you know, I don't know if Belinda gets nervous, but whenever I have a medical procedure, I get a little nervous. And I'm pretty practiced, y'all. I've had tons. So I'm a pretty practiced going to the hospital. Unfortunately, that's just the reality. It's part of my life. In fact, th this period of quarantine is probably the longest period I've gone without needing to go to the hospital for tests. It's actually been kind of a nice break. So, um, yeah, it has been. I'll be honest. Because I, I just get tired of... Those of us who have to go all the time will tell you this. We just get tired of it. But when, you, you know, when you're going in for a serious procedure like Belinda is, it's nerve-wracking. And so, now that we're coming up to the 48-hour period, let's all really like... Let's pray and well wish for Belinda that she feel supported and loved so that she has the courage to sort of endure this, especially since this will be her first time going in there. But she knows she's not going alone. Nope, she's bringing her phone, y'all. She already told me. She sent me an email. She says, all right, I'm bringing my phone. And, you know, we can help you figure out how to disinfect it. There are ways to do that. Um, so we'll be making videos for you, Belinda. Oh, yes, we will be. Ms. Deb Hendrick said she could hear the stress in my voice. You know what it is? It's two things, y'all. I did not sleep much last night. Nope, I was crawling up the walls with worry. So what you're really hearing isn't so much stress. It's exhaustion. It's, it's like autoimmune exhaustion mixed with just exhaustion. So I'm just tired, y'all. That's all it is. And I have a feeling like 
You know when you sleep from like utter sheer exhaustion, not from like just normal happy sleepness? That's what I think I'm gonna have tonight. So when I do my BB Craft Design Team package, please be uh, kind and gentle with me because normally I'm on the ball and I'm so excited about this one, but I'm just, you know, your girl's head is filled with autoimmune cotton, that's for sure, that's for sure. Um, I did have a couple of you ask a quick question about how do you get on a design team? Like, how does that work? And the simplistic answer is they approach you. For, for the most part, they have social media coordinators that watch channels and they do exactly what they did to Lizzie or to myself. They'll reach out and say, listen, we've watched your videos. We think you're a great fit for our company. What do you think? That's a tougher point for you because then you have to decide if you like this company well enough to want to represent their products, if you think they're a good fit, and is the arrangement they're offering you suitable for you. So I'll give you an example. I told you all, I love working with BB Craft, I love working with your creative studio, and I love working with In Love Arts. And the reason I chose those three, and why I've turned down others, uh, is for a number of reasons. One is, they let me choose the package. Now that is not common on Ally, and I wanna tell you all that. If you notice, when Scrap Diva gets her packages or Wandy Sweets gets her packages from places like KS Craft or um, from even from Alina, they don't choose usually what goes in there. They may have some choice, but usually those companies dictate what goes in those packages. I want to choose my own, and that's just because this is an unusual channel. A lot of people who watch Scrap Diva are just are clean crafters. But on here, we have mixed media. We've got Rosa doing these artistic journals. Hey, Rosa. Mm -hmm. Sun and Moon Arts. Oh, yeah. We've got shabbies all over the place. That's what I call y'all, shabbies. We've got vintage. And as I, we've all learned this week, we've got shabby mix, mix, meets mixed media. We've got vintage meets modern. We've got Maggie. We've got Maggie shabby. We've got clean, you know, we've got chunky dunk. We don't have a lot of steampunk, um, but we, you know, and then we have all these like artsy, artful makers. So I didn't want anyone else picking the items in the package because I wanted to make sure that at least one item would appeal to a different segment of our craft population or that one item might appeal to everybody. Like those precision glue tip bottles are good for all types of crafting. So that, a, like sort of eliminates a lot of companies for me to work with because I don't want them picking the package for me, right? I don't want to be making uh, a clean card using dyes that I think you're not going to be motivated by. So that's the, that's the long and, and short and quick answer. The other way you can work with a company is you can contact them. You can. I told y'all, I contacted your creative studios and she went and looked at my channel. Amanda's great. She went and looked at my channel, she looked at my Instagram, she looked at several of my projects, and she's like, you're a great fit, let's give it a try. And then what happens is you do a trial run, and you see, do you like working with them? Do they like working with you? I'm sure you all noticed I hauled, I, had, I received my In Love Arts package, and then I didn't do the share, and there's a reason. And that's because the person who I was partnered with in the company left. And so the new person wanted, and now I don't know if this happened to everybody, but because I was new, I think she wanted to assess if she wanted to keep me on the team or not. So they just said, hold off. So I did. And the new person decided that she did like my projects and she would like me to continue working with them. So she had me place another order and I'm kind of waiting for that to come in because that too is stuck at customs. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as I get that, I'll do a combined and, and I will do a project for them. So that's a short answer on how it works. Um, I will tell you, I have turned down a lot of companies in the last two months. I have been approached by a purse company, like lots of style companies. And I told you all before I ordered craft supplies on Ali, I've been working with the same sunglass provider for like 10 years. And he would love to give me sunglasses and have me do a style channel. Um, Cause I said, I'm not doing sunglasses on a craft channel. And I don't want to do purses on a sunglass channel, on a craft channel. Now, I don't mind if other people want to, and I've seen them do it, but I just don't want to. I want this to be about crafting and making. So I don't want to do purses and sunglasses. I don't even show y'all half the times if I order earrings from Allie, what I get. 
because it's not a style channel and I don't feel like making one. That was his question, which is, why don't you create a style channel? And I was like, no, I don't really want to. So I've also turned down companies. So that's my advice to you too, is to think about why do you want to work with these companies? I chose In Love Arts because every dye I had ever ordered from them cut cleanly. So I knew they, I knew that their dyes cut well. Also, I knew they stood behind their products and if something went wrong with the dye, they'd replace it because I know the rare times that's happened. I know people where it's happened and they've just replaced it, no problems. So I like a company that stands behind its products. My third reason is that my biggest complaint about Alley companies is that they don't work with crafters to design dyes that we want and need. And In Love Arts is always open to ideas and suggestions, which is why they made more book dyes this year. So for me, they're a great company to work with. When BB approached me, I wasn't sure we were a good fit because you all know, okay, you're gonna be shocked by this design team package, but normally I don't order small bead things because uh, you know it's not a strength of mine. But then I found out they branched out into all these other things. And so I said, okay, let's give it a try. And I have to tell you that company is a joy to work with, a joy. And throughout this whole problem with their order, their design team package being stuck at customs, they kept in contact with me all along the way and they kept apologizing to me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I said, it's not your fault. It's at customs. I have only but wonderful things to say about BB craft. And I have to say they're one of the few companies that were sending out their regular orders at the same time as their design team packages, which I think is great. So I love them. Uh, your creative studio. I adore that subscription box. I adore Amanda's creativity and so I contacted them and they assessed me and now we just like working together um, but they're fabulous and I just look at that I froze the video which means it's time to end it we gotta fix this y'all all right I will be right back on with my BB craft design team project bye for now